Hello YouTube! Today on The Naughty Librarian we are doing the Ember in the Ashes book tag. So within my awesome Ember in the Ashes inspired book sleeve I got from Fairy Loot, today I bought... What? Oh, is it Reaper at the Gates? Oh, it is! It's Reaper at the Gates! We're about to hear book three in this series! I'm so excited. You don't, like, you guys don't even know how excited I am. Well, you have an idea because I'm making a video about it, but, like, I'm super excited. I went to the book signing for Reaper at the Gates tonight, so it is signed by Sabata here, which is super dope. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I was so excited to meet her again. So I went to this book signing, which was awesome, and I just want to be, like, in this world for a little bit, and I want to celebrate the release of Reaper at the Gates by doing this Ember in the Ashes themed book tag. This tag was created by Super Space Chick, and I will leave a link to the original video down below so you can check it out. Let's get into the tag. Number one, Elias the Marshal, a character that fights back against what they were raised to believe in. I'm gonna say Juliet in the Shatter Me series, just because it's the first one I thought of. Um, Juliet has basically been in and out of mental hospitals her whole life, so she has been conditioned to think she is an insane murdering person. <laughs> and now she's like, hey, maybe I'm not a crazy murdering person. So it maybe is a mental fight back, but it's still fighting back against everything she's ever been taught. So yeah, I think overcoming a scary murder person is pretty good. Number two, Laia the Scholar. Pick a character that goes to extreme lengths to protect their family. I'm gonna go with Alex from Labyrinth Lost by Zareta Cordova. Basically, Alex accidentally banishes her family to like the magical underworld and then she has to go into the underworld to like save them from like an evil overlord. So I'm like, hey, fighting your way through like, you know, Bruheria themed never ending story world is a lot to do to protect your family. So I think this is a good example. Number three, Helen the Mask. Pick a feminist icon. Hermione Granger, obviously. Like, why would I not pick Hermione Granger? She is basically the best throughout the whole series. Those idiot boys would have been murdered like a hundred times if it wasn't for her saying, hey, how about you read a fucking book every once in a while, you know? <laughs> I picked in particular, um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because I feel like Hermione is particularly sassy in this one and I was like all about it. I loved her so much in this one. Like I wanted to write fanfic about Hermione Granger growing up and being like a sexy successful female witch and like solving crimes and dating sexy wizards, you know? Like I was, it, that needs to be written honestly. Like someone needs to do that because that would be an amazing adult series. I am not a Ron Shipper, so I mean, Hermione could do better. Just saying. Number four, Kane the Augur. Pick a character with the power of sight. I'm gonna go with Azult from Truth Witch by Susan Dennard because uh, she is a thread witch, which means she can like see, like, I don't know, it's like, like the threads that bind people to other people and to things. It's like the connections. She basically sees the connection be between people and their world that they live in. And it also has progressed into her having like prophetic dreams and stuff and like being able to like talk to people in dreams. <laughs> so I think that's sight. She can see a lot of stuff. Like it counts. It counts. Five. Karis, the Commandant, a villain you wish terrible things upon. I'm gonna say Sophia from The Bells by Danielle Clayton because she is so evil. She is so evil. Like if I was gonna do her like D&D &D alignment, she is like chaotic evil. Like that's the craziest evil because she is like bug nuts insane and vicious. So put those two together and it's just like, She's a tornado of nuts. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain her. She's just, she's chaotic evil. That's the best way to explain her. She, she needs to get her butt kicked, okay? She just does. Number six, Mazin, the Resistance. Pick a character who is a strategic planner. This one I had a tie for because I want to say both of these, and I can because no one can stop me. First, I thought of Jude from The Cruel Prince by Holly Black because this girl is a planner. Like, 
she has like a seven year game. Like she is so far ahead of everybody on the chessboard, it's crazy. So I think she could like conquer the world if she wanted to. And I think she will by the end of the series. She is like way cool. She's like planning seven years down the road, totally. Also, I wanna say Sherzad from The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adier because I mean, she agreed to marry a sultan who was going to murder her because she's planning to murder him instead. So like that involves a bit of planning. So I also feel like she has a strategy in place in order to not get murdered. So very strategic in her operations. So both of these, both of these girls together. Oh my gosh, if they teamed up, we, we like, we would all lose. Like there is no way you could beat them if Jude and Sherzad, like, we're a dream team. Someone write that fanfic. Someone write it right now. Oh my goodness, that'd be so good. <laughs> Number seven, Spiro Telemann the Smith. Pick a character who has mastered their craft. I'm gonna say Scythe Faraday from Scythe by Neil Schusterman because he's a master Scythe. <laughs> like, he, is, he has his own like code of conduct and he is taking disciples. Like he's been a Scythe for a long time. Like he knows his shit. So like, I feel like if you're going for like wise planning guy who's a master of their craft, like I think Scythe Faraday is like top of the list. It is very late when I'm filming this. I have not eaten dinner. I'm drinking my dinner. That's how I live my life. Okay. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you have any different answers to these questions. I want to know what you think. Also, let me know if you have read Ember in the Ashes or any of the books of that series and like what you thought about them because I freaking love them. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, should I tag people? I should probably tag people to do this. Okay, um, I didn't write them down. I'm gonna guess. Well, I'm gonna tag Leanna from Leanna's Library because we went to the event together. I tag... Lauren from the Novel Lush because I feel like this is a series she likes. I, I feel like I've heard her talk about it. So she's tagged. Tagged. And like it's late and I can't think of any more but those are the two I know who would like be into this tag. So they're tagged and I'm gonna tag a few people in the comments down below. Well not the comments but like the blurb. Whatever that thing is. I'm gonna tag some people. So <laughs> watch out you might be tagged. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Or good night.